If history teaches us one thing, it's our constant drive to create. Think about it. The Taj Mahal, the Eiffel Tower, the Great Pyramids of Egypt. For centuries, we've raised giants of stone and steel, crafted with such cleverness that they stand tall against the wildest storms. But what if I told you that the key to the next architectural breakthrough doesn't come from humans, but from an insect smaller than your thumb? Try guessing what it is in the comments section. Two scientists, one from Lund University and the other from Nottingham Trent University, joined forces to solve a perplexing question. How can we cool skyscrapers using nothing but nature's breeze? This question has haunted the construction industry for the past decade due to the high energy consumption needed to cool these massive buildings. The two scientists, David Andrea and Rupert Soar, decided to take inspiration from an insect as small as a paperclip. This insect was the termite, which, like humans, creates complex structures capable of cooling themselves. They published their findings in a paper titled Termite-Inspired Metamaterials for Flow-Active Building Envelopes. They flew all the way to Namibia in southern Africa to collect a precious sample of a termite mound. Imagine a termite mound as a fortress, crafted from soil and saliva, filled with tiny tunnels that serve as nature's own air conditioner. With their treasure in hand, they performed a CT scan to unravel the vast network of tunnels inside. Using this scan, they recreated the termite mound's 3D structure, not with earth, but with nylon polymer powder, bringing the ancient wisdom of termites into the modern world. They then tested this newly constructed 3D structure by sending gentle, rhythmic breaths of air through the tiny tunnels, just like the wind through a forest. They watched closely, using special tracer gases to see how the air moved, much like following a glowing path in a dark cave. In another experiment, they added colorful dye to water and let it flow through the tunnels, observing the dance of colors to understand the movement. These tests revealed that the air didn't pass through the tunnel smoothly. Instead, it swirled and twisted, creating little whirlwinds inside. Just like leaves dancing in the wind, these whirlwinds, or turbulence, were the key to moving air efficiently through the tunnels. As these whirlwinds spun through the tunnels, they carried more than just air. They helped move moisture and heat along with them, much like how a river carries pebbles downstream. This enhanced movement, called mass transfer, was crucial for naturally regulating the temperature inside, keeping it cool. Finally, they understood that this clever design from tiny termites could be used in our buildings. By mimicking nature's way of cooling, they could create energy-efficient structures. These buildings would stay cool naturally, much like a cave stays cool in the summer, reducing the need for energy-guzzling air conditioners and helping the planet. Now, destroy that thumbs up button and join the BioBite crew with one mission to conquer YouTube. But here's a thought. What do you think happens when it rains? Will the tiny tunnels flood? Drop your thoughts in the comments section. See you in the next video.